This shout out is to my mom, to my daughter Maddie, who without her love and support, I wouldn't have changed my ways to be here. To my partner Bethany, who did anything and everything to make sure that I was able to do this. And to all my friends and family and my coworkers, Margarita, to my friends over in Europe, Morris and Gwen, thank you all for your support. And thank you to myself for doing something that I didn't think I was gonna be able to do and doing it with honors. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I wanted to give a shout out to the people that empowered me to be here, my bosses, Michael and Peter, my mentor, Michelle. Um, I wanna do my inspiration, which was Ashmi, Danielle, and Charlene. And then my support crew, which is the office, uh, my kids, Aubrey and Darren, and most of all, my husband, who put up with me through all this. And again, my sisters, Pam and Daisha, because they also put up with me complaining, whatever. Love you all, thank you. Hey, let's just shout out to my wife, Corvette. Uh, she's supported me for two years now. It's been awesome. My four kids, Damien, Kristoff, uh, Raven, and Grimm, you've been my inspiration. And of course, my mom, who's been waiting for this for a long time. We did it. I just want to give a shout out to my dad and mom. I love you. To Danny, Mandy, and Kyle, and all of my Oklahoma family. Love you. Shout out to my family, my sister, my brother, my kids, Andy, Lily, love you. All the way from Chicago to Washington, just want to say a big thanks to God, my mom, my dad, and all of my friends and family for supporting me, all of my coaches, my teammates. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Shout out to all my family in the 252. All uh, my friends, my mom, dad, grandparents, and my aunt and uncles, uh, and my friends. I wouldn't be here without y'all. I love you. I want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you, um, Dana and Kyla, for celebrating me today. Thank you for mom, Vince, boyfriend. I love all of you. Thank you, Michaela, for coming. Bye. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Mom, Katie, Aunt Julie, Trevor, Ray, you guys mean the world to me. Thank you for being here. Hello. I'd like to give a shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My mom, Alicia, you are a bright star in my life. Larry and Sharon Meyer, the treasure you have instilled in us are worth more than anything. Uh, my husband, Nick, who is my rock. My son, Tyler. Cedric Bruns, thank you for your sacrifice. And Peter and Debbie Bruns, I love you. Hi, uh, shout out to mom, um, mom and dad Crow. Thank you so much, Trey. Love you. Thank you so much for your support. Bye. Oh, uh, hi. Thank you to my kids and my family and my brothers and uh, friends. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my husband John, my parents David and Joanne, my siblings, my in-laws, Pacific House family. Lauren, Ani, especially Courtney for taking my pictures. Love you guys so much. Hi, just want to give a quick shout out to my loving boyfriend Gage, my mom, dad, all my siblings, Allison, Dean, my cat Dolly. Thank you all for your support. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Hi, I want to shout out to Jill. Thanks for walking and watching. And thank you to my mom and my dad and my beautiful children and my grandson and my friends. Bye. Give us a wave. I want to give a shout out to my babies, Aaliyah, Elena, and Olivia. Thank you for writing this out with me and to all my family and friends that have encouraged me. Thank you. Hi everyone, I just want to give a shout out and thank you to all my family and friends. Uh, thank you for all your support throughout my education. I love you all. Hi everyone, I want to give a shout out to my mom, uh, Julie, uh, my best friend, Sam Jones, uh, my stepmom, Ellen, and uh, most of all, big shout out to uh, my grandpa man, gets the best seat in the house. Thank you. Hi, I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my loving boyfriend, Stimson. Hi, just giving a shout out to my family. Thank you guys for watching. Mom, dad, grandma, my sisters, um, especially my husband and my kids, Amelia and Alexia. Thank you guys for supporting me. Love you. 
I, I just want to say thank you to my parents and my kids and mostly my husband for making all the sacrifices so that I could pursue my dream and to my best friend Nena. I love you. Hi, I just want to give a shout out to my mom and dad and my sisters Abby and Alex. Thank you so much for supporting me and always helping me out. I love you guys. Hi there, I'm going to give a shout out to my family in Kenya, my mom. Uh, my American family, Donna, Maureen, uh, Amy, Ian, Honest, and everyone for all you have done. Bye. Hi, amazing family. I just want to thank you all for supporting me through this, especially my husband, Alex. Hi. Hi, big shout out to mom and dad. Love you guys. Also, family, thanks for watching, and I love you, Dakota. Bye. Hi guys, I just want to have a shout out to all my friends and family that are watching today. I want to thank you for always pushing me and telling me to do my best. Hi, I want to thank you, my 10 kids, for being so patient with me and loving me through all of this. And for my wonderful husband for supporting me. Hi, I want to thank everybody who, uh, and my friends and family who's helped support me and encouraged me and everybody who helped me get places I needed to go. Thank you, love you. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and everyone who's watching. Thank you so much for being part of my journey. Gracias a todos que estaban conmigo. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you. Hey, I just want to shout out to my mom and Layla. I love you. And to my beauties, thank you so much for always supporting me. Hi, right, thank you Etheridge family, especially my wife. I love you. Thank you for all your help and support. Thank you. Quick thank you to my family. Appreciate everything you guys have done for me to make this possible. Um, shout out to my dad, no longer with us. Can't make it here. Appreciate it. Thanks guys. I just want to do a shout out to especially my parents, my whole family really, and then my friends Dan and Saturn. Thank you for watching. I just want to shout out to my mom and dad. Thank you for all the love, support, and patience. Yeah, same here. Thank you, mom and dad. Love you guys. It's so sad you guys can't be here with me. <laughs> Quick shout out to all my friends and family. Big thank you for all the support. To my wife, I love you, Brooklyn. Step on the red mark. Okay, thank you. Take your mask off on deck. Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family. Thank you for supporting me and I want us to give a special shout out to Darian Shelby and Rain Man. I love you guys. Thank you. Hi, kiddos. Love you all. Thank you for all the support, Carl, and supporting me through this. Uh, shout out to you guys watching at home. Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my friends and family. My Nana, thank you guys for the support. Hi, I want to thank my mom and my dad and Jill who is watching and all my family and friends. Thank you for watching me graduate today. Thank you to all the people that supported me. Thanks. Well, hello. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for putting up with my crazy uh, college schedule. Love you all. Hey, I wanted to give it a shout out to my uh, family and my girl Alexa. Thank you guys for supporting me these uh, last two years. It's been a blast. Thank you. I want to thank my family and my wife. Hi, I want to give a shout out to my friends and family. I love you guys. And a special shout out to my wife. I love you. And Washington State University, here I come, baby. I just wanted to say thank you to Michael. I love you. See you tomorrow. Hello, people. It's me, Daniel. Thank you very much. Everything family support. Saludos. Temosique paraíso a todos. Gracias a todos ustedes. I'd like to thank my and my Papa Pete for making it possible for me to go here and to graduate. And a special thanks to my mom for putting up with me for the past 18 years. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, all of my family, the fire family, <laughs> the juicy family, my, wonder my wonderful boyfriend, Nick, and I miss you, Leah. I will see you guys all on Saturday. I love you. Uh, 
Hi everyone, I just wanted to say thank you to my mom and my dad and my family and I love you all and thank you for supporting me the past 12 years. Love you guys. What's up? Uh, I wanted to say uh, just thanks to all of the teachers that have ever made me feel like there was a reason to do this. That's super cool. Um, and praise Bingus. I want to thank my wonderful and loving parents, Mama Jackie and my Auntie Wu, and of course you, Rich, for all of your wonderful love, support, and patience during these all these years at Clark. I love you all. You guys are my world. I want to say thank you to all my family and friends for always supporting me. Hey, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me throughout um, this really hard rocky road, so thank you all. Hi everyone, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my son Nick, my sisters, uh, my family and friends, and I want to give a special shout out to uh, Lori Ann, Gillette, thank you. I did it. <laughs> Hi everybody, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you later. Hi Morgan, thanks for watching. Gracias. I want to say thank you to my family in Mexico. Thank you for watching me. I would like to be here, but I love you much. I want to say thank you to my family for always supporting me and to be here for me in my studios. I love you and I appreciate you much. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Ria, Maritza and Yari. Thank you, love you. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I'm so thankful to my parents for supporting me and for my brother for helping me with school. That I got to hang out with my grandparents' house sometimes and just talk. I love you all and thank and I thank God that I made it this far. Hi, thank you. I especially want to thank you for transitional study and the IBS program. We have a lot of teachers. Uh, who taught me and also I want to thank you for my husband Charles Bivens and thank you for everything. I love Taiwan. Thank you. I was I Taiwan. Bye bye. Hi, I want to thank my mom who's the queen and my dad for printing out all of the assignments every single week and my bestie Bridget Daniels because she did this all with me. Thanks. I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout college, and I also want to thank my parents especially for helping me to be where I am today. Hi, Mom and Dad. I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me. Hi, I just want to say thank you to all my family. I love you. I wish you could be here, and I'll see you later. Bye. Love you. This is for Ruby, Claire, Haley, Ian, and Mackenzie. Thank you for helping me. I would not be able to get this degree without all your help. Hey guys, thank you for the support. Thank you for my family and friends for being there for all the four years of studying. Gracias, felicidades en México. Vive. Hi there, hi mom and dad. I just wanted to say thank you for your support. And yeah, thank you for always believing me, and I love you much. Hi, I'm AJ Ayak. I gotta thank all my family for supporting me through all this. I also gotta give a really big shout out to all my professors and uh, Dr. Harris, Sarah Luther, Carol Hugh. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to my family, out my slimes, all the one for life. Thank you. Hey, shout out to you guys. I know you're watching. I love all you, my family, my friends. Thank you for always supporting me. <laughs> I just want to give a quick thanks to my mom uh, for, <laughs> for supporting me emotionally and for financially, um, just so that I can accomplish what I did now. Thank you. Just saying what up to my family. Thanks, John. Love you. Okay, do, do I immediately go? Just saying, shout out to my family. Thanks for all your support.
I think that having my associates for me um, gives me the opportunity to kind of give back to the community and serve the community and be able to take my education to the next steps. This degree opens up a lot of doors for me. It allows me to get kind of a head start in college, obviously allows me to not be in so much student debt, so I can kind of go into a four-year school and really taking two or three years to get a bachelor's or a master's degree, so it really gives me a jump in college. It will help me become a leader in the pharmacy, help me supervise other coworkers, take on more responsibilities in the pharmacy career. It has enabled me to be qualified for a list of jobs that um, I would not have been able to qualify for before. Also opening up uh, financial doors for me that, that will allow me to, to reach some of my financial goals. This degree is a big thing to me. Being the first child in my family to graduate college, it means a lot. It means I being able to open opportunities to those students or those kids back home that are not able to go to schools. Uh, at first it was pretty hard. Like I said, mom of three trying to do the work at home and do their work. Having to be at home while trying to study and having other people in the home and it was really really hard to get used to at first. It's kind of different when you're facing a pandemic and you're unsure with everything going on in the world. It was a big thing. It was a big adjustment. Coming from being in person and going online where you have to read almost everything. Student government was completely virtual this year um, and worked pretty much um, entirely through Zoom. Online choir was not easy. You got to learn how to adjust and change and um, I adjusted. All the teachers were really nice and caring about it. All the students that you had classes with, they understood they were going through the same thing. Everyone's made it work. The instructors have made it awesome. We watch the videos for it and still feel like we're participating with the lab work. Clark uh, quickly came up with a, uh, a laptop loan pro program and they used that to pretty much, you could check out um, a laptop that was current for the for the quarter. Well, the chemistry class is a think tank that you can join if you have questions, and I find that very helpful. I think it went really well, and kind of over time, you know, you really got to know these people, um, even if it was through over Zoom. You have to find a way of challenging that situation. That's what I did. It's working. I was homeschooled as a younger kid, so first going into like a, a real school compared to homeschooling was really weird for me. It was strange um, being in a classroom with peers more than just my brother and my mom, so it was really interesting, but it really helped me to be more social, and Clark College definitely did that a lot for me as well. We have such a huge family here and a really big community of students. I learned more because I was able to join clubs, like the International Club, where I would meet different cultures and just talk. and being able to hang out in a diversity center where people just come and hang out in. You get to talk to people and you realize there's a lot of things that you didn't know. So all those opportunities have helped me to meet with, with different people, talk to my fellow students, even learn different cultures. I'd studied geology a bit in middle school just in your routine earth science courses and I was starting to get into it and I realized, oh, hey, Clark has a geology course, and so of course I signed up. And within the first like 10, 15 minutes of class, the instructor at the time, Dr. Charlene Montier, grabbed a giant piece of halite and smashed it with her rock hammer. Pieces flew everywhere. And she said, go ahead and pick some of that up and take it home. And that's what this is right here. Just had a spark of, this is what I have to do with my life.
this is the beginning step for me um, in the path that is nursing. Um, from here, I'm going to be pursuing my bachelor's of science in nursing at Washington State in the fall. Um, after this, I'm planning to try to take the NCLEX and pass, get my license, and I would like to pursue either an ER or ICU residency. I just love it there. Every time I'm in an ER or ICU, I think it's so fascinating how you really can be that first patient interaction that they have. I am going to become a veterinarian and hopefully help other people and help their pets and help get closure and help solve hopefully many problems for perhaps communities that need help such as I am a Native American and I hope to help my Native American people uh, find a better way of life and sustainability and help their animals and help their produce and just kind of better their way of life. Well, I come from a country where businesses are developing the, you know, it's a devel developing countries. So I thought be going to a business it would give me skills that I'll be able to start my own business so that I can develop my country and also change people's lives. Next step is to continue my human development degree at Washington State University. And after that, I want to do a master degree and a major in education. Education is important to me because it's an equalizer. It brings everyone on board, whether you are from a poor background or rich background. definitely want to thank my advisor. She's been a great help and she's the one who showed me that I can actually get two associate's degrees. I, don't, I didn't even think I was going to graduate with one, but here I am graduating with two thanks to her. She kind of showed me um, just the right paths to take. Ali Mag McLaughlin, Sarah Tebak, Michelle Mallory, all those are the professors who have supported me through this time. I'm definitely thankful for Dr. Jacob Funk and for Laura Thorison. She was my voice teacher here as well, and I'm taking private lessons with her now. And they are both wonderful musicians and amazing, amazing teachers. Well, I did do the work study. Um, Shelly, she was uh, my supervisor, and she was awesome. She just really helped me, was very understanding to everything. Even during the pandemic, she like, uh, you know, always was understanding of what I had going on at home. Professor Zachary Ellsworth, uh, I had him for two classes and he just made it very easy t to do the online switch and he was just like, he was a very cool teacher. Michelle Staclosa, who has become my awesome mentor, friend, and just, she's gotten me on the right path. She's the one who got me into tutoring. It has completely changed my life. Well, I was the recipient of the Clark College uh, Foundation Scholarship two years in a row. The scholarships I received from the Clark College Foundation ended up helping me save enough money that I was able to quit my job and focus on school my last two quarters of nursing school, so it was really meaningful for me.
think the first order of business is a great big O. Woo! Good evening. My name is Dr. Karen Edwards, and I'm the president of Clark College. Welcome to our 2021 commencement celebration. Let's have a big hand for the last regiment of syncopated drummers. And now I will ask you all to remain standing, if you're able, for the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we've watched were so gallantly Thank you, Olivia, for that beautiful rendition. Our music students are amazing. You may be seated now. Good evening, and welcome to the 85th Commencement Exercises of Clark College. We begin tonight's proceeding by acknowledging that Clark College's main campus is located on the ancestral lands of the federally recognized tribe of the Cowlitz and Lower Columbia people. Truth and acknowledgement are critical to building mutual respect and connection across all barriers of heritage and difference. We pay respects to the indigenous elders, past and present, as we respectfully consider the many legacies of violence, erasure, displacement, migration, and settlement that brings us together today. It is an honor and a privilege to stand here with you. Tonight, this time last year, we could not assemble on this campus or anywhere due to the coronavirus. Thanks to the development and distribution of vaccines and the fantastic work of our graduation committee, we are here, we are together, and we're celebrating you. In order to stay within guidelines, we had to limit the number of participants. We have about a third of the 2021 graduating class and some graduates from 2020 here with us today. Noticeably missing are the parents, families, friends who usually join us for this very special occasion, although some did sneak in. While they're not here with us physically, they are watching via live stream. So graduates, please take a moment to stand, if you're able, and acknowledge and thank those 
who have helped and supported you through this leg of your journey. They can see and hear you, so please give them a roaring thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure they heard you. <laughs> Thank you. I also want to acknowledge Clark College faculty and staff. It has been an interesting 18 months for them as well. Nevertheless, their unwavering commitment to you, our students never waned. Please take a moment to acknowledge them. We have all been impacted by COVID-19 and other national issues in some way during the past 18 months, and we've experienced loss on so many levels. The loss of connection, the loss of employment, the loss of access to things like museums, restaurants, public libraries, and travel, and furthermore, some of us, even the loss of a loved one. It has been a challenging, however, it has been challenging, however, with all that we've lost during this time, I want to remind you of what we've gained. Through all of this, we have been enlightened. We've gained perspective on what really matters in life. We learned the power of togetherness and how we should not take that for granted, our ability to be together. We miss being with each other and learning together. And though not new during this time, some of us have also gained a very clear perspective and have been enlightened on racial inequities in our country. Inequities related to health care, employment, education, access to technology, the criminal justice system, and police brutality. Finally, our perspective on global connectedness has been heightened. The exchange of information products and people from other countries were all significantly impacted in the past 18 months. It is said that a mind once stretched never returns to its original state. With the education you received at Clark College and the broadened perspectives you gain comes responsibility. A responsibility to act, a responsibility to apply your knowledge, and a responsibility to make this world a better place for all. And tonight, we are here in to encourage you to do just that. So congratulations, graduates, and let the commencement begin. It's now my pleasure to introduce the guests who share the platform this evening. I invite them to stand and remain standing as I call their names. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Jalen Sotelo, our commencement student speaker. Rika Strong, chair of the Board of Trustees. Josiah Jonah, president, Associated Students of Clark College. Suzanne Sutherland, faculty union president. Dr. Genevieve Howard, interim vice president of instruction. Rashida Willard, Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and Kath Boucher, Dean of Student Engagement. Please give them an applause. It is now my pleasure to introduce Clark College Board of Trustees Chair, Rika Strong. All right, hey y'all, how we doing tonight? Are we excited or what? Yeah, we've been waiting for this day. Man, so on behalf of the Clark College Board of Trustees, I want to officially congratulate you all. I am so incredibly proud of every single one of you sitting here. Man, um, when I think about the past year and the fact that we made it to this finish line, you all and your families deserve a tremendous pat on the back. Now. 
I can't say what I'm about to say because I too am a former uh, Clark Penguin and I have a little penguin out there graduating tonight. So what I'm gonna say to you all is this class, the class of 2021 is absolutely by far the most resilient, tenacious, determined class of Clark uh, Penguins than we've ever had. So cheers to the class of 2021. You all are phenomenal. Now, this past year has been rough. And like I said, I have a student at home and kind of watched her go through it and showing up and uh, listening to you all speak and hearing some of your experiences. This past year has been rough. We suffered a pandemic, a little environment of social unrest and social injustice, right? And we all have to recognize the toll that it has taken on us. What I also know is given the demographics of our Clark community, 30% of you are students of color, 70% of you are first generation college students, what we know about the pandemic is that many of our students were hit the hardest. You juggled being a first generation college student. Some of you were homeschooling kids while trying to finish your degree. You dealt with social isolation. Some of us lost our jobs. You were fighting social isolation, dealing with racism, dealing with trauma that comes with the social arrest that was happening in our community. And all of you continue to work and power forward and power through it, considering all of the things that were happening around you. You held your head down and stayed forward and kept moving. You worked incredibly hard to get where you are. Now you're here tonight getting your degree. You are here. Congratulations. As you leave Clark and you start to enter into the next phase of your life, I want you all to remember this. Whatever goal that you set in life, you all have absolutely proven that you can achieve it. If you reach tonight's milestone, considering the tumultuous year that we had over the past year, you absolutely can accomplish anything and imagine what you can do when you're experiencing a year of calm and not a year like you had last year. I am so, so proud of you, as I said before. Thank you so much for all of your amazing hard work. Congratulations to you, your families, your friends, and to all of those who encouraged you along the way. I can't wait to see how amazing you all go out and make this world. Congratulations to the class of 2021, you guys rock. Thank you, Chair Strong. The Clark College Excep Exceptional Faculty Award is one of the highest honors that the college bestows. Anyone at the college can nominate a faculty member for this award, but the vast majority of the nominations come from students as a way to recognize their professors who truly made a difference in their lives. For that reason, we announce the winners at commencement at this time, I am proud to introduce our 2021 Exceptional Faculty Award winners. As I say your name, would you please stand if you're able and be recognized and stay standing until we're done with the list. Faculty members happen to be behind you, so if you want to look back and see who's standing up, feel free to do so. First is uh, Kayoko Barnhill in Mathematics. Tony Chenault, Chenault in Biology. <laughs> Nami Inoue, I Japanese. <laughs> Michelle Mallory, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Josh Patrick, English. and Christy Taylor, Dental Hygiene. Let's give them all a round of applause. Earlier this year, the college announced recipients of the Exceptional Classified and Staff Awards, the Administrative Exempt Awards, and the Social Equity Awards. Their names are printed in your programs. Each of these employees helped to make Clark College a better place for our students, we thank them for their service as well. Now we'll have greeting from our faculty. Please welcome Suzanne Sutherland, Professor of Communication Studies and President of Clark College Faculty Union.
Hello, graduates. <clears throat> I think I share everyone's excitement that we're actually seeing you in person here tonight. After teaching in front of a monitor for the past 15 months, you are truly a sight for sore eyes. So first, I just want to say on behalf of your Clark College professors, thank you for your hard work, your tenacity, and for all of the sacrifices that you've made this year. We couldn't have pulled this year off without your commitment and your perseverance. And I really hope that you never underestimate the magnitude of your achievements this year. It's one thing to pursue an education during a global pandemic and everything else that this last year has entailed, but it's also, but it's a whole other thing to earn your diploma. I know this because during 9-11, I was a college student just like you, and it's a challenge to maintain focus when the world's been turned upside down practically overnight. Like many of you, I spent my first two years of college here at Clark. I was a first-generation student, a parenting student, a working sometimes full-time, sometimes two-job student, and a trying to navigate college on my own student. Despite all that, I went on to become a journalist and then a professor right back here at Clark. I made it full circle, and I'm now doing exactly what I want to be doing. So having that experience, I think I'm safe to give you just a few really quick bits of advice. And the first is this. Coming out of this pandemic, we will all likely be doing more of our business virtually, whether it's school, work, or socializing. Nonetheless, graduates, make sure to seek out those face-to-face, in-person experiences and opportunities at work and at school. This is where you create networks, and this is where you make those connections and those relationships that will help you succeed. Your resume will only take you so far, and your Zoom self will only bring you so much success. It's the hanging around, being seen, being heard, showing your commitment, and demonstrating your tenacity. That's where you find those people who will give you a hand up the ladder. Don't ever underestimate the impact of your presence. So another quick thing, while hard work and persistence are definitely important for success, don't underestimate the power of living by your principles. Even, and I would say especially, when it's incredibly difficult, when it feels like you're surfing against a tidal wave, it's those times the standing by your values builds your character, your confidence, and your courage. And that's the kind of strength that people want on their side. At the 2015 Tuskegee University commencement, Michelle Obama said, I have learned that as long as I hold fast to my beliefs and values, and follow my own moral compass, then the only expectations I need to live up to are my own. So I'll close this up by speaking again on behalf of your Clark College professors. Well done, graduates. Be proud, be present, and be guided by your principles. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Josiah Joner. I'm the third generation of my family to attend Clark College, and I had the honor of serving you as your 2020-2021 Associated Students of Clark College Student Government President. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our student speaker for this evening. Jalen Sotelo is graduating with her Associate in Arts Direct Transfer degree. She plans to continue her education at the University of Washington, where she will study communications and political science. Jalen attended Clark College while still in high school through the Running Start program. At Clark, she's been active in Phi Theta Kappa, the Honor Society for two-year colleges. She's also served on the Washington State Legislative Youth Advisory Council and is dean of the Southwest Washington Red Cross Youth Council. And she's done all this while maintaining a 4.0 GPA. Please welcome to the stage Jalen Sotelo. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and of course, fellow graduates of the class of 2021 and 2020. This moment has been such a long time coming for us all. I am so honored to be here today, standing in solidarity with you as we celebrate 
all of our collective hard work. Every certificate, diploma, and degree being obtained is an incredible feat not to be taken lightly. We all have a reason for being here today. We're here to make our families proud, maybe set an example for our children and grandchildren, but most importantly, we're here for ourselves. Day in and day out, we've shown up, even when showing up has felt like moving mountains. We've given our all throughout the long hours and sleepless nights, squinting at our computers until we feel ourselves dozing off, and this is where we are now. Our individual stories of sacrifice, struggle, and vulnerability are important to recognize in our quest for success and in looking ahead to what our futures hold. We can use these stories to empower one another, flourish in community, and recognize all of the unique backgrounds, cultures, ideas, perspectives, and more that contribute to the diversity that is us. That's why I'm prepared to share with you all today my story. When I was 14 years old, my father stepped out of my life without warning. This took a severe toll on my mental health, and at one of the lowest points in my life, I didn't think I could ever amount to anything or anyone worthy of character. Midway through high school, I attended a youth conference where I was encouraged to share my story. The experience gave me the confidence to apply to Clark College as a Running Start student. For me, Clark College has been life-changing. Even as a younger student, I have felt the student body take me in with open arms. Being involved with student life at Clark has helped me experience my full potential as a student leader. One of my biggest accomplishments is being able to serve as Phi Theta Kappa's Vice President of Service. Finding other students who share my passion for giving back to the community has given me joy and purpose. Today, this is what we celebrate, all of our individual stories. We've taken this step to invest in ourselves invest in our communities, and invest in creating a better future for the next generation. Our potential is unlimited, and I have been so inspired watching all of you see yourselves as leaders and finding your passion. I would like to thank all of the administration, instructors, faculty, and professors who have continued to see and seek out the best versions of ourselves. We have all accomplished so much in tremendous circumstances. All of us have worked tirelessly to better ourselves and to better our fellow penguins. We are our tomorrow. We will go forth and create a powerful legacy through our hard work, perseverance, dedication, unwavering determination, and excellence as products of the Penguin Nation. The world is waiting for you, class of 2021. Seize it. Clark College has established many partnerships in support of our students. One of our strongest is with Washington State University, Vancouver. The Community College President's Award in honor of Val Ogden is given to a student who has completed uh, their associate's degree here at Clark and is transferring to Washington State University. They will receive a full tuition, they will receive full tuition and fees while they finish their bachelor's degree at WSU Vancouver. This year's scholarship recipient has had quite a journey. To be here tonight, we begin with him. With we begin when he. It begins when he is 10 years 10, 10 years old in Kenya, and saw a piano keyboard for the first time. He became inspired to learn to play the instrument, and then later to teach others. From there, he discovered his love for teaching. In order to pursue his dream of becoming a teacher, this student came to Clark College here in Vancouver 
He is earning a degree from our early childhood education program while working as an early childhood teacher. During the pandemic, this student woke up at 5 a.m. to do his homework so that he could be available during the school day to help his two children with their classes online. Balancing parenthood, full-time employment, and college coursework is no small feat, but this student managed to do all of this while maintaining a high academic standard. He is a great example of our students' resilience and determination, and I'm happy to announce that the 2020-2021 Community College President Scholarship Scholarship Award winner is Moses Kameli Kuyir. There's Moses, please give him a hand. <laughs> this year's recipient was selected with the assistance of the Presidential Scholarship Task Force. Every year the decision is difficult, and this is why I am proud to announce that with the help of Clark College Foundation, we are going to provide two other nominees with $1,000 scholarships. These students are Emma Shalook and McKenna Merle. Can you stand too? Thank you. Good evening, graduates. My name is Dr. Genevieve Howard, and I'm the Interim Vice President of Instruction. Let me be the last person here tonight, I promise, to congratulate you before you cross the stage. Congratulations indeed on an achievement that in any other year would have been considered a significant educational milestone. However, graduates of 2021, I believe you have achieved not only an educational milestone, but have done so under immensely challenging circumstances that have tested you intellectually, socially, and emotionally. Over the last year, you have had to develop a deeper resilience and demonstrate a greater tenacity than students who came before you. You have juggled school, work, and family responsibilities during a global pandemic, social upheaval and unrest, all while being Zoom fatigued in your pajamas. Tonight, we celebrate you, your achievement, and the promise of all things that you will do moving forward. You take from Clark College not only a certificate and degree, but the knowledge that you did it. You set a goal, you put in the work, and you put in more work, and a little more work, and you accomplished your goal, proving to yourself that you can do hard things. Remember that. You can do hard things. You can overcome challenges. You can achieve your goals. You are resilient. You are tenacious. And you are, and always will be, a Clark College Penguin. Dr. Edwards, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to present the classes of 2021 and 2020 the faculty of the various departments and divisions of the college have certified that these candidates have all completed all requirements for the certificates and degrees as listed in the program, and we, and we recommend that they be granted. Dr. Howard, by the authority authority vested in me as president of Clark College, which is organized and operated under the laws of the state of Washington, and as representative of Clark College faculty, I have the honor and the pleasure to confer upon these graduates the Bachelor of Applied Science degree, the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Science degree, the Associate in Fine Arts degree, the Associate in Applied Science degree, the Associate in Applied Technology degree, the Certificate of Proficiency, the Certificate of Achievement, the High School Diploma, and GED completion. 
with all the rights and privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Before we begin uh, calling the roll, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge a group of graduates who are unable to be with us tonight, students in our program at Large Correctional Facility. In a year when all of us have struggled with unexpected obstacles, these students have faced some truly extraordinary hurdles. They have endured a COVID outbreak at the facility that kept faculty from being able to be with them in person. It's not easy to take classes remotely when you don't have access to the internet. Faculty had to print out all of their readings, all of their readings and assignments on paper and then hand deliver them to Larch. Then the students had to complete their assignments by hand on paper and paper and wait for a weekly pickup to get them back from their instructors. But like true penguins, <clears throat> That, that they are, these students kept going, and more than 50 of them are earning their high school diploma or equivalent. I know some of them have special permission to watch tonight's live stream of this ceremony, and I want to tell them, congratulations, Larch Penguins. We are proud of you. At this time, will the readers please call the roll? Do you have a card? Okay, I'll take that. That's okay, thank you. Thank you. Anna Orton with honors. Marley Black with high honors. Satvir Mand with high honors. Marina Solovinena with high honors. <laughs> Melissa Miner with honors. Kendra Gibb with honors. Alyssa Osborne with honors. Ashley Tanner with high honors. Olna Galvin with honors. Jaywan Park with honors. Elizabeth Fallis with honors. Anthony Nguyen with honors. David Leontuk with high honors. Cassandra Grigg with high honors. Walter Romero with honors. Colby Spicer with high honors. Amanda Turley with high honors. Jessica Makem with high honors. Courtney Shelley with high honors. Rachel LaBelle with honors. 
Bray Braylon Weatherby with high honors. Jason Dalziel with high honors. Brian Barber with honors. Karina Swift. Pintong Yang. Rebecca Berrio with high honors. Christopher Spurgeon with honors. Kelsey Graham. Jennifer Crow with high honors. Michelle McGavern with honors. Amanda Knight with high honors. Jonathan Judge with honors. Diana Bozdoga. Sean McKinley with honors. Lisa Leahy with honors. My fam. Coriandra Jones with honors. Alisa Castillo. Rose White. Cody Olson with high honors. Steven Gibson. Brianna Guerrero. Yvette Muhawe. Manyavan Sukasam. Nayeli Cisneros Ramirez. Brianna Wickham. Natasha Fletcher. Rachel Smith. Berenice Carrillo. Belbeth Pascual Garcia. Stephanie Deering. Vanessa Dixon. Rodney Mendez. Jaden Howes. Daniel Cordova. Jesse Snyder. Tuan Tran. Alicia Yukamets. Blanca Serrano Reyes. Genevieve Chaparro. <laughs> Stephanie Hatcher. <laughs> Danielle Miller. <laughs> Vanessa Estrada. <laughs> Sabrina Sorlin. Samantha Agloro. Aya Albayati. Catherine English.
Elise Han. Josiah Joner, with high honors. Jalen Sotelo, with high honors. Rachel Manglona. Christina Brown, with honors. Kimberly Huse, with high honors. Jeannie Lee with honors. Annabelle Vale. Emily Landers with honors. Ariel Day. Melanie Leanne Tierney with honors. Jolly Munson with honors. <laughs> Saudia Maria Gilchrist with honors. Okay. Lawrence Ferguson with high honors. Stephanie Romano Johnson with merit with honors. Brandy Brisbane. Jessica Bull with honors. Miguel Viveros Chavez, what is this? founder of 2020 Visionary, Disability, Clark College. Clark College. Thank you. Cat Duke. Sydney Cortez, Rudolph Cortez, Richard Mora with high honors, Elizabeth Devenberg with honors, Kimberly Zuniga, Carla Asquith with honors. Kaylee Mueller with high honors. Ilse Lucea Vasquez. Jose Gomez. Courtney Beyer with honors. Okay. Abid Ali Amazidi. McKenna Merle with honors. Aaron Lisney with honors. Joel Moan with high honors. Carlos Mercado Perez. AJ Ayek with honors. Darian Holloway. Justin Hymas with honors. Natalie Worthy with honors. Samantha Steber.
Sierra Pine with honors. Daniel Lampson. Jamie Henrich with high honors. Renee Clark with honors. Katrin Fisher with honors. Sarah Lewis with high honors. Brooke Trueblood with high honors. Kenneth Mullins with honors. Arani Palomera with honors. Katherine Schlecht. Taylor Byford with high honors. Thank you. Christina Demeray with honors. Jasmine Mayer. Patricia Hart with honors. Paul Corbin with honors. Lana Clayton with honors. Brittany Haxby. Marissa Vasquez Lopez with honors. Kevin Cox with honors. Peter Nagy. Michaela Shear with honors. Go. Okay. Uh, Michaela Smith, get it, girl. <laughs> Kaden Weir. Devin Koshel with high honors. Alexandra Sedneva with honors. Carissa Wilkins Luton with high honors. Natalie Baker with high honors. Fabiola Montiel Guzman. Hamanat Mikasha. Madeline Pritchard with honors. Hannah Schintoffer. Jonna Keck. Emma Schillick with honors. Deja Slater with high honors. Moses Career with honors. Vinet Manarafasha with honors. Congratulations, Vinet. Cameron Van Sluis with honors. Corey Abair. <laughs> Kathleen Lauser with merit with honors. Naomi Lauser. Tasia Roshkova with honors. Boyn Marquardt with honors. James Anderson. Alberto Madriz with honors. Alejandra Bolanos with honors. 
Guadalupe Rosales with honors. Cesar Vasquez Palacio. Aiden Lawson with honors. McKelvey Foster. Marley Foster. Kerrigan Foster. <laughs> Callie Martin. Peyton Butler with honors. Jamie Hoover with high honors. Joseph Leahu with honors. Jackson Hernandez with honors. William Fournier with honors. Gavin Michael with high honors. Zach Connolly with honors. Frank Bowers. Angelica Avila Leal. Marina Krischenko with high honors. Yesenias Martinez Beltran. Nola Nicholson. Margaret Olson with honors. Amber Boyles. Christian Shuckman. Latasha Matthews. Cameron Bosch with high honors. Nicole Nguyen. Bibiana Picho Garcia with honors. Jan Koprek with honors. Vivian Lopez Diaz. Anna Bandar, Joseph Giles, Paige Harms, Samantha Coyle with high honors, Heather Hansen with honors. Michaela McBride with honors. Ryan Hansen with honors. Kian McElmoyle. Christopher Seal. Amy Chisholm with honors. Grace Hardison. Anita Jensen. Chell Forland with honors. Josen Bonifacio. Shannon Dubois. Jana Huffman with merit with honors. Caitlin Howard. Jasmine Hildebrand. Catherine Matthews. Alexis Brinkley. Skyla Steen with high honors. Margaret Monahan with honors. Mackenzie Gilchrist with high honors. 
Zenora Salano. Jenna Kalafkin with high honors. Morgana Ricardo. Madeline Peterson with honors. Jennifer Lawman. Michaela Fias with honors. Alexander Ward. Cynthia Herring with honors. Jillian Smith. Nathan Stewart Otto with honors. Emily Skinner. Beatrice Dominguez with merit with honors. Rachel Davis with merit with honors. Anna Ostapa with honors. Madison McDonald with honors. Grace Nolan. Riley Lonnie with honors. Alicia Martinez Garling. Desiree Sprecher. Alexia Bollinger with honors. Connor Maxwell. Haley Morris with honors. Jason Smith with high honors. Zoe Scarborough with honors. Kayla Brocious with high honors. Amelia Salas with high honors. Garth Liedel with honors. Kimberly Barker. Grayson Sullivan with honors. Trevor Jeffs with high honors. Kelly McClary with honors. Charles Baker with honors. Spencer Pugh with honors. Scott Montana with high honors. Jenna Leverick with high honors. Olivia Gray with honors. Christina Van Houten with high honors. Lilise Waldron with high honors. Kaylee Gates with high honors. Alnita San with high with honors. Catalina Chim with honors. Shadman Shazahan. Jeremiah Hofschneider. Simone Huynh. Taylor Greenberg with high honors. Hannah Lord Lind with high honors. Damon Kaiser with honors. Denise Meza Solis with honors. Stasha Welch with honors. 
Madison Spangler with honors. Margaret Finnegan. Taylor Skinner with high honors. Angelina Alexiev. Caitlin Rodriguez. Matthew Harris with honors. Chad Tinrington with high honors. Jessica Bryant. Annabelle Petty with high honors. Lilibeth Herrera. Quinn Gillahan with high honors. Joel Paul. Skylar Lay with merit with high honors. Cole Mayo with honors. Austin Garcia. Elisita Gamino with honors. Veronica Cortez with honors. Farah Brandy with honors. Ashley Heimer with honors. Kayla Johnson with high honors. Zoe Cochran with honors. Isabella Yates with high honors. Lynn House. Jamila Williams. Ashley Adderholt. Namrata Prasad with honors. Chow Nguyen. Emma Kate McLean. Maui Iguchi. <laughs> Cheyenne Taylor. Oh, Renee Vasquez Vasquez. Yes. Renee Vasquez Vasquez with honors. <laughs> Cesar Vasquez Vasquez with honors. Alexis Maxi. Chelsea King with honors. Yolanda Mixon. Sharon Dow with high honors. Amy Nguyen with honors. Nana Kondo. Jeremy Burcompass with high honors. Allison Rorvik with high honors. Isaiah Emerson with honors. Autumn Five Coats. Audrey Erickson with honors. Kendra Odrin. Melissa Grider with high honors. Alyssa Fire with high honors. 
Bridget Daniels with high honors. Caitlin Farrington with honors. Madison Resnicki with high honors. Lexi Sneer with high honors. Emily Anderson. Gavin Schmidt with honors. Haley Hall. Benjamin Bevard. Lily Perrin. Trinity Perrin with honors. Vladimir Atanasov. Adam Doolittle with honors. Riley Dinkoff with high honors. Say it again. Thank you. Matthew Reese with honors. Robert Taylor with high honors. Donald Jackson the second. Delaney Phelps with honors. Mila Smook with high honors. Ellie Davidson with honors. Lauren Boys with high honors. Amy Rodriguez. Kyla Suklis with high honors. Kate Starnes with high honors. Maggie Glasky. Cherie Harvison. Jennifer Brooks with merit with honors. Rachel Kontanasakis with merit with honors. Annabelle McAleer with high honors. Samantha Sidwell. Lily Seitz with honors. Karina Stevens with honors. Matthew Condon with high honors. China Finley. Rayleigh Clark. Kimberly Pierce with honors. Sally Hart with merit. Aubrey Nesty with high honors. Caitlin Glover with high honors. Holly Hill. Lisette Ocampo Bernal. Chantel Bishop Burgess. Nico Wilbur with honors. Morgan Woodward. Susan Bruns. Christy Anderson. Alexis Crocher with high honors. Brendan Potts. Kaylee Pugh with honors. 
Madison Olson with honors. Brielle Wells with honors. <laughs> Mallory Cole with high honors. Janae Oskowski with high honors. Kimberly Nguyen with honors. Ella Filer with honors. Grace Goddard. Michaela Coleman Goins with honors. Brittany Ith with honors. Annalise Furtado with honors. Cassandra Elizalde with honors. Jasper Clamfoth with honors. Randall Etheridge with honors. Thanks. Chris Boyce with high honors. Congratulations. Hannah Courtney with honors. Hannah Sanders. Ashley Frazier with honors. Emma Pierce with honors. Thank you. Bianca Iglesias. Jose Carrillo with honors. Kendra Blacklock. Dasha Shirkoff with honors. Thank you. Christina Bogdava with honors. Thank you. Jennifer Nazaruk with honors. Nick Gibson with honors. Amber Rose Walker. McKinley Stotts. Jonathan Scheid. Zachary Squires. Salem Hernandez Rivera. Caitlin Solar with high honors. Angelina Barnes. Rosa Quadros. Better Abuker with honors. Roy Day. Max Soria Mejia. Edwin Flores Calderon. Cameron Watkins with honors. Thank you. Kristen Passanier. Thank you. Ilana Zamashko. Angela Mishinsky with honors. Alejandro Tapia Garcia. Dustin Shelby. Amanda Nguyen with high honors. Yoreni Padilla, Padilla with honors.
Elora Heidi. Alexandra King. Timothy Avalov. Vitale Lupir with high honors. Samantha Vega with merit with honors. Alyssa Lewis with high honors. Nicole Villegas with honors. Thank you. Paige Arhus. Emily Dolan with honors. Molly Flynn with high honors. Ashley Burney with high honors. April Signs. Isa Tu Ba. Thank you. Ilya Panasevich with high honors. Sasha Knight with honors. Ella Uckman with high honors. Laurel Zaya with honors. Annabelle Rotterman with honors. Patricia Bivens with merit with honors. Jonathan Watts with honors. Nielsen Shaljay with honors. Degrees and certificates are now conferred on the class of 2021. You are now members of an ever-growing community known as Clark College Alumni. We will always be proud that you are members of our Penguin Nation. If you would stand, class of 2021, if you're able, certainly, and if you would move your tassel from right to left, mine is on the wrong side already, but move yours, and that will signify that you are now graduates of Clark College. Let's give it up for the class of 2021. <laughs> You did it, wonderful, wonderful. As we conclude our celebration, I ask that all attendees remain seated until it's time for your road to, um, to leave the soccer field. This has been a wonderful evening. I'm so proud of each of you, and I wish you great success in all of your future endeavors. For some, this may be the end of your schooling, but not the end of your learning. I want you to look ahead and see what you will accomplish next. Earlier tonight, I encouraged you to use what you've learned and experienced to uplift others. Our community and our world need you, now more than ever. As Angela Davis suggested, no longer accept the things that you cannot change, rather change the things that you cannot accept. Woo!
No going back to normal. The old normal doesn't work for us anymore. Instead, I believe we need to focus on creating a new normal, one that's kinder, wiser, stronger, and just. The education you obtained at Clark College has equipped you to be part of this work. And I know our future is in good hands because you're prepared to shape it. I hope you all have a chance to rest and catch your breath this summer. You deserve that. It's been a very long year. Thank you, everyone. Good night and be well.